Hey guys, it's Cruz from Tech Takedown, and in this video I will be showing you how to download maps from Minecraft on the Xbox 360, as well as upload your own maps that you have created so that you can share them with the world. It's very simple, and all you will need is a USB flash drive that has at least 1GB, as well as a computer that has Windows. Now this works with both offline accounts and online accounts, either way you go through the same process. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on an offline account that I just created called Minecraft Tut. We are going to start off with how to download a map, and as you can see on this account, I have no worlds created. So you're going to plug in your USB flash drive into your Xbox 360, then you're going to bring up the menu, go all the way over to the right into settings, go down to system settings, and then go down to storage. You will then see USB storage device, and if you have not configured it yet, you are going to want to open it and click configure now. Now this will delete everything that is on the flash drive in order to configure it to the Xbox 360 settings, so before doing this be sure to take all of the files off your flash drive and put them onto your computer. It takes a bit of time so you just have to be patient, but eventually you'll get a message that pops up saying your device is ready. You can then press OK and it will bring you back to the storage devices and you'll see that your USB flash drive now says memory unit and when you open it, it will contain a bunch of folders. If this didn't work, your USB may be too small in size or I recommend trying another. You are then going to open up hard drive, go down to gamer profiles, and you're going to go down to the profile you want all of the maps to be downloaded to, so I'm going to Minecraft Tut. Now before you move your profile, you want to be sure you know your email and password of the profile, because if anything goes wrong over at the computer stage, all you need to do is come back to the Xbox and recover your account. If you don't know the email and password to the profile and something ends up going wrong, you run the risk of losing the profile forever. So if you feel it's safe to do so, you can press move, you're then going to press yes, and you're going to select your US USB flash drive, otherwise known as the memory unit, and it will move your profile over to the flash drive. To be sure it's successfully moved, you can press B on your controller all the way back to storage devices, open up memory unit, go down to gamer profiles, and your profile should be there. You can now press B on your controller until you reach storage devices, and then you can pull your USB flash drive out of your Xbox 360. You'll get the message below saying please reinsert USB storage device. You can just ignore that, and now we're going to head over to the computer. Once you're over at your computer, you can plug in your USB flash drive and this auto bar will usually pop up. You're going to want to exit out of that. Now you are going to need two things. You are going to need the downloaded map and you're also going to need a program known as Horizon. I put together a folder which contains seven maps created by various users. The link to download this folder as well as Horizon will be in the description below. In each folder you will find a saved file and that is the file we are going to be putting on our flash drive. The saved file will always end in .bin unless the user changed it beforehand. So you're going to want to minimize this folder for now and we're going going to open up Horizon. It tends to be a slow program that takes a while to load up, so you're going to need to be patient. Once the program starts up, you'll see a box pop out from the right, and that tells you that it immediately recognized your USB flash drive. You will see all the same folders that were on your USB, and if you press the little arrow next to Gamer Profiles, you should see the profile that you originally placed on it, mine being Minecraft Tut. You are then going to want to locate the saved file that you're going to be putting on your USB flash drive, so I'm going to open up my folder which has all of my maps inside of it, and I'm going to choose Huge Worlds and take the saved file and drag and drop it right onto my gamer tag. Once you drop it, you will see a box pop up that says select a profile for this saved game. Yours being the only one there, you are going to double click it. You will then see a green bar loading in the bottom right hand corner of the program, and once it reaches the end, you have successfully transferred the map over to your flash drive. You can then press OK and you're going to click on the little arrow next to games and you will see Minecraft come up below it. You are then going to click the arrow next to that and you will see the map you just placed on your flash drive. You are going to double click it which will bring up this box and this will allow you to change the display name so I'm just going to change mine to huge map. Once that is complete you're going to click the orange save rehash and resign button and this may take anywhere from 5 to 30 seconds so be patient but once it is done a message will pop up saying save rehash and resign to the device. You can then press OK and you have successfully just added one map to your USB flash drive. Now you can add as many maps as your flash drive can hold, so I'm going to bring back up my folder and I'm going to bring over the saved file for the roleplay map. You will notice how it is not a .bin file, but that is because the user who gave it out to the public changed it beforehand. So you're going to go through the same steps you did before and you will see how the other map pops up in the Minecraft folder. I can then double click it, change the display name, I'm going to change it to roleplay map, and then you're going to press save, rehash, and resign. 
Now you can continue to follow these steps adding map after map, but once you have added all the maps you would like, you can unplug your USB flash drive and you will notice how the right goes blank and we are going to head over back to the Xbox. On the Xbox, you are going to plug back in your USB flash drive, bring up the menu and we're going to go all the way back to system settings. You are then going to go down to storage, down to your USB flash drive, otherwise known as the memory unit. And the first thing we're going to do is go into gamer profiles and move our profile back over to the hard drive. Once that is complete, you're going to go to games and apps, open up Minecraft, and you're going to see the two maps you moved over to your flash drive, and you're going to move both of those over to the hard drive. So basically, you're just taking everything off the flash drive that you originally put on and putting it back into its original spot on the Xbox. Once all of those steps are completed, you are officially finished, and all you have to do now is go over to Minecraft. In the beginning, I had no maps on that account, but now you can see I have the two maps that I put on my flash drive, and they're ready to play. Now, this may seem difficult or confusing, but I can tell you right now, it is not as bad as it seems and once you do it once you can pretty much do it forever on after that. Now I'm going to show you how to upload a map that you have created. I'm going to create a quick map as an example and just name it upload map. Once it is created you can now see how upload map is on my list of worlds. We can now bring up the menu and we're going to go over to system settings. Once you are there we are going to go down to storage, open that and then we are going to go down to hard drive. You are then going to select games and apps and you are going to scroll all the way down until you find minecraft. You are going to open minecraft and then you are going to find the map that you want to put on your flash drive in this case being upload map. Now we're not going to move the map instead we are going to copy the map over to our flash drive because we want it to stay on our hard drive. Once you have copied your map or multiple maps over to your flash drive, we can now head over to the computer. Once there, you are going to open up Horizon and the program will automatically recognize the flash drive. So once you can see all the folders, you are going to click the little arrow next to games and then you are going to click the arrow next to Minecraft and you will see your map, mine being uploaded map, and all you have to do is drag it onto your desktop. It will say that the file was successfully extracted and now you can send it to friends, upload it to websites, and the whole world can have it now. You can now delete the map off of your flash drive back over at the Xbox seeing as it was only a copy. But guys, it's been Chris from Tech Takedown. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tutorial and guys, I'll catch you in the next one.